the top two teams in local college baseballs, PSAC West, Jared Beach and Gannon hosting Cal U. Vulcans won 22 to nine in game one. Gannon down seven to three in the sixth in game two. Beach nearly takes out my camera and the tripod. Good news, he didn't. The solo home run went far, seven to four. Staying in the sixth, Gannon with the two run double here makes it a one run game. And after a hit by pitch with bases loaded, Justin Ham comes home to make it a tie game at seven to the seventh and still tied. It's Ian Hess going yard. The walk-off two-run home run. Ball game. Gannon rallies in game two for a massive 9-7 to seven win. Gatorade bath and all. It's one of the best feelings I've had in a while. You know, uh, I mean, I saw my teammate Eli do it recently, and it's just like I had the chance twice last game, and I didn't do it. And it feels great to do it now. By far the best feeling you possibly have in baseball, especially against them. We came out there that second game and, and got down again. But you know, the biggest thing about this team is this team plays at the very last down. It's, it's a pretty good attribute to have. That'll come up big during playoff time. The Lewis Finnison performance scoreboard. Gannon falls 22-9 to in game one. They win 9-7 to in game two on the comeback trail. Same two teams at Cal tomorrow afternoon. Up the hill, the marvelous machine that is Matt Minnick and Mercyhurst hosting Clarion in game two after a 10-5 to win in game one. No score in the first until one cent shy of the dime. Niner, Matt Schneider sends a two-run shot to deep center. Lakers up a pair of runs on that blast. 3-1 to Mercyhurst in the third. Josh Serwick doubles down the left field line to score Alex O'Donnell. Minnick was marvelous as we alluded to. Six innings, giving up two hits, two runs, striking out ten. And back to the LF&P scoreboard. Mercyhurst wins 10-5 in game one, 5-2 in game two of the doubleheader. Same two teams tomorrow down at Clarion at 1-3. As we head to the local softball